everyone so I'm doing my next Halloween tutorial and I thought I would go sort of like for a creepy doll look sort of like a dead doll zombie-ish doll so gone for really kind of dead face look really pale contoured um, heart-shaped lips and then the eyes look kind of bloodshot and gross some veins here so it kind of looks like your eyes are really bloodshot and just really unhealthy looking um, a lot of shadows and stuff so yeah, that is going to be my um, creepy doll, dead doll look for Halloween. So if you want to see how to do it, then just stick around. So I've already kind of started the look. What I did is I used a normal foundation and then I added some white liquid foundation to that just to give myself like a really kind of white pale skin. And then I'm going to start doing the contouring. I've already done it on this side. So I'll show you how I did it on this side. So um, what I'm actually using this is this eyeshadow by MAC and this is copper plate. You just want to use a matte color, kind of a grayish brown. And I'm going to start doing sort of a ghostly looking contour. And I'm starting kind of in the hollows just underneath my cheekbones and just working that in. And you want to take the contour kind of around your face here, so like at the edge of your hairline, you want to start adding this kind of grayish color. Um, then I'm also going to take um, a smaller brush like this, just like a fluffy brush, and just use that same eyeshadow copper plate, and I'm going to contour right here. So I'm going to start this um, like around the brows, and going to contour like that, and then around the side of my nose right here. I'm also going to take that brush and just contour kind of right underneath my lips right here and then I'm also going to take like a larger brush like this and just contour um, below my jawline right here then I'm taking a matte white blusher this is by Elamasca and it's called powder blusher intrigue or you can just use like a white face powder if you have something like that and I'm just gonna highlight with this, just kind of right here. And this is really gonna help the contour to look a little bit more realistic. So I'll list all the products as always on my website. So I'm going to take like a burgundy brown color, it looks like this. And I'm also gonna use a little bit of this one. And I am first going to apply that right around the center of my eyes. And I'm kind of putting this right into the middle and then just blending it out also over the eyebrow up here. Use um, sort of like a darker color and just apply that right in that very inner corner. It's on the outer corner. Bruises don't look perfect or, you know, that kind of veiny look. You don't want it to look perfect. It's just going to make it look kind of bloodshot and just gross. <laughs> All right, um, this gray color, this is from my Ben Nye palette. And I'm just going to intensify that. Especially like here and then also on the inner part and just kind of make that look really bruised almost. So once you've kind of done the eyes, like I kind of enhanced these dark circles by just adding a little bit of gray eyeshadow and just made the whole look just really kind of as if someone punched you in the face. Like you don't, you know, the blending doesn't have to be perfect. It kind of looks a bit more realistic if, you know, some parts aren't blended perfectly. Like your eyes are going to look more kind of bloodshot. Now, I'm actually going to use a blue cake eyeliner. This one is by La Femme, but you could use like a blue liquid liner or something. Um, kind of nothing too electric blue, sort of more in the dark blue. And I'm going to do with kind of these veins. And you don't want these to be too intense, so I'm really going to 
basically I'm using the back of my hand to just water it down. The blue that comes off isn't going to be like really dark. And then you want to draw in little veins. And as you go out, they should get lighter. Maybe I'll just zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here. I've done my hair now and ribbons and stuff. Um, now I am going to use a little bit of concealer. This is the Ben Nye Concealer Wheel. And I'm just going to put um, this on my lips. Just kind of blot them out. So I'm just going to take this dark lipstick and this is Nivea Bedtime Plum. And that's kind of going to give like a heart shaped effect like that. Okay, so now I'm going to glue on some lashes and I'm using lashes that look like this. They look very doll like when you put them on. Um, so I'm going to use those. Plus I'm going to use some under eye lashes like this and I'm going to glue those on on the lower lash line. So I'll do that and be right back. So all I have done now is applied the lashes on the top and bottom so you can see what those look like and um, I've also applied just a white coal pencil and that's really going to give those like doll like eyes. It looks you know really bright and stuff. So I just wanted to see what that would look like with blood. Um, I do think the blood kind of overpowers it, like you'd have to go a little bit darker on everything else because um, right now all you can see is really blood. <laughs> um, and if you, if you do use blood, make sure that you do use a blood that you can use around your eyes. Make sure if you haven't already, check out my contest I'm doing right now. It's going on until the end of October. There's some amazing prizes that you can win, so make sure to check that out so you can enter. I will post the link um, below this video. And thanks so much for watching, guys. Check out my other Halloween videos if you're interested, and I will see you very soon. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.